Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Okay, and, and definitely here what I don't want to do for different reasons. I think it's good for us in the community right now to have uh, guys like yourself to have some kind of access and I'm not trying to make that more difficult for you because I think as time goes on here, we're going to need you more and more, right? But I, tomorrow. huh? Maybe not after tomorrow. I got the okay to say that uh, people should expect an executive order coming out from the White House addressing social media. <laughs> yeah, that's so going to be interesting. That's... Yeah, we'll I got see. The... And we'll see if that'll have any kind of effect on social media platforms. I mean, uh, go ahead. It should. It you, should. You think so? That's really so. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to like set all of this up so people who are looking at this conversation understand where we're going here. Um, for me, and and we always have this thing. So I'll probably I'll start here, right? Lots of people, whenever we have issues with Facebook or YouTube, Instagram, everyone says, "Well, look, they're a private company." They could do whatever they want. They can make up whatever rules they want. Is that true from you guys that are the experts? It's it's certainly true. I mean, they're private. There's no First Amendment rights. There's no Second Amendment rights within Facebook or Twitter or YouTube or, or Instagram. Um, it's true. But now the only exception. So here's the exception, though. And this is interesting that Trump is is kind of talking about this right now. Mm -hmm. They are in effect monopolies of communication, mm -hmm. right? And what's that, John? Kind of like utilities, my answer. Kind of like utilities, mm -hmm. right? And so they're like common carriers. And this is the big. Mm -hmm. When I was, you know, at Facebook, it was like, you don't want to be called a common carrier because now you have a whole bunch of burdens and a whole bunch of uh, uh, issues that you have to address. So yes, there should be a way. You know, I'm not big on government intervention in anything, really, right? Most um, of us I, aren't as good, just like the nature of what we believe. Yeah, I'm yeah. just not in a hurry to say the government should go do more stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but I will say that it might be the only source of relief if the companies are just not owning up to the fact that they are just making all these biased decisions um, in how they and I, I, again, I have sympathy for for, you know, at least my experience with Facebook and Instagram, I have sympathy for the companies. Because it's a really hard problem. And it's what's expected is just not possible on a scale of 2.4 billion people worldwide mm -hmm. in every language on every continent on every country on the planet mm -hmm. so there is a solution here um but unfortunately it's not going to be the sledgehammer that trump is trying to swing here and it's not the solution of a million contractors that the social media companies are trying to solve it with there's something in between um, but i'm convinced there is a way to do this yeah so i'm trying to figure out what's the solution here what about uh i'm not really open source you know, what about something blockchain, you know, like all the stuff that the government wants to resist? Is that a solution to this where, you know, not in private hands, not in the government hands, you know, a magical matrix uh, utopia for us all to live in? Yeah, I don't think I want to go that route. <laughs> I want no. I think you want the government to be able to have access to those things, access to the base, to the best, you know, Cryptology, the best, you know, bit, uh, the best Bitcoin, you know, the best, uh, the best AI, the best ML, the best things that they can get a hold of and use and leverage. Mm -hmm. But you, just, you know, don't necessarily want them being in charge of it or coming up with it on their own. Mm -hmm. Although there's very good, you know, just, that's there are very good focused areas in the government that do good things, mm -hmm. you know, in those areas. Um, so it's all, you know, it's not without. Uh, it's, it's all is not lost. Yeah. Yeah. Um, someone's, uh, I don't know what looks like Trump, uh, Crump, excuse me, is, uh, getting some info there. Night Train is bringing up what you brought up earlier, John. Trump threatened to shut down social media platforms after Twitter put a fact check warning on his tweet. Um, do you know specifically, you were saying something about Trump. Do you know specifically what, what he's going to do there? Yes. Okay, um, and Yule Adam says after it affected him only, which is one of the problems that we have, you know. Um, so what is it? Can you tell us? No. Oh, damn it. When are we going to find out what this is? Uh, 
I would say you would probably have a very good idea within the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. 24. Okay, so this will be breaking news soon, soonish. Yeah. Uh, Chuck, do you want to guess what it is? <laughs> is it yeah, there's, there's actually little that he can do, mm -hmm. I think, by executive order or... Um, mm -hmm. Uh, it'd have to be some, I don't know, it'd be, I think it'd be kind of limited, quite honestly, or it might be symbolic. Uh, I don't think it'd be anything yeah. too dramatic. But. I, I, I don't see how it's enforceable. Yeah, yeah. I, that's what I was going to say. Like, how? First of all, you're talking about companies that are very wealthy, have lawyers, and then a fight back. And then, you know, basically the administration, everything the administration does, uh, the, the Democrats out there are completely against it. So that can get caught up in... Uh, you know, in in, uh, in litigation safer. forever. I think it's saber rattling. Yeah, um, uh, James, go ahead. James Miller says the answer is for a few rich uh, pro gun billionaires to buy these platforms. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen. Um, uh, hey, uh, we don't. That's a good point. Sorry, okay. John. Go ahead. There is a uh, billionaire trying to buy Twitter, trying to do a hostile takeover on Twitter, or right wing. Mm -hmm. Is that going to be a solution? So we don't we don't need that. I mean, it'd be great if it happened, but mm -hmm. we need at least somebody of quote unquote note, um, someone you know, some random billionaire, millionaire, whatever, mm -hmm. some industry leader, someone to come out in support of us in mm -hmm. support of gun rights. Because I mean, look what happened. Like you guys saw last year that New York Times, you know, full page ad signed by you know 15, 20, 30 CEOs all against quote unquote gun violence, mm -hmm. right? You had 30 CEOs of like some very important companies, very big companies we've all heard of, basically brainwashed by by Bloomberg's, you know, anti-gun machine. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, this is embarrassing for them as CEOs. They're supposed to know what's going on. And they signed up based on a one sided biased propaganda that they got fed through some mm -hmm. assistant, basically. Mm -hmm. And they signed off on that thing. And it, you know, as, as we as gun owners look at what they were complaining about and you're like, you didn't look at any of the math on this. You just signed off on something without knowing about what you're talking about, and you look bad. That's only us, though. To the rest of the world, it looks like, hey, look at these guys and gals standing up to the, you know, to this gun violence, blah blah blah. But there were really important people on those. Show me one, you know, one public anything of anyone of note in favor of of gun rights, right? Any CEO, any public major public figure that's who's not, out there. That's not a, that's not head of a um, of a firearms industry company or that even, right. or, yeah. are we even are we including fire no no who's not part of the industry like some some you know because the the ceo of citibank and levi's and all those places are not not part of the industry but they're out mm -hmm. there you know slamming the industry all day mm -hmm. so where are the ceos and leaders you know who are on our side and who are willing to you know they're out there i know there's pro-gun people at that level i know mm -hmm. at least of some of them mm -hmm. but they're you know they're not going to say a word Mm -hmm. uh, we need to fix that. We need to make it so that gun culture is acceptable and gun culture is something that's reasonable and something that reasonable people can support. Mm -hmm. right? I know the CEO of Darden Rust Restaurants is pro gun. Mm -hmm. That's a start. <laughs> yeah. If we can only. Like Darden and stuff like that. Yeah. If we can only get them to actually um, put that on record and get out there. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.